April the 21st. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5, 48. It's about perfecting people. It's not about this, oh, I'm human, and to be flawed is to be human. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Psalms 17, 15. So we know God as far as we are righteous. The righteousness he marks in thee, his will to right doth win. Delighting in thy purity, he deeply drinks it in. T. H. Gill. To love God is to love his character. For instance, God is purity, and to be pure in thought and look, to turn away from unhallowed books and conversation, to abhor the moments in which we have not been pure, is to love God. God is love. And to love men till private attachments have expanded into a philanthropy which embraces all. At last, even the evil and enemies with compassion. That is to love God. God is truth. To be true, to hate every form of falsehood, to live a brave, true, real life. That is to love God. God is infinite. And to love the boundless, reaching on from grace to grace, adding charity to faith, and rising upwards, ever to see the ideal still above us, and to die with it, unattained, aiming insatiably to be perfect, even as the Father is perfect, that is to love God. F. W. Robertson. Now, some of the issues that people would raise with this is definitely connected to this taking the Father a bit literally. But God is loving. God is the the reality, the most true, um, the entirely true. But there is love of what's not right, and that's not what it's saying. Um, well, in English, perhaps, that we find references in Scripture that say this, but literally, that's not what's being said. <laughs> 